Before we go on with transformations, I would first do a quick look on the VVV coordinate system. VVV uses the Cartesian coordinates to describe the positions of points. To show you how it works, we're going to make a very simple cross. We need a renderer, a transform and a quad. A renderer, a quad and a transform. Select the 2D one and connect them all together. And let's dock the renderer so we can see it in our patch. So select Alt 2. Make it bigger. We also need two IO boxes and since they're both the same I'm just going to make one and copy it. So double right click, move your mouse away, select it, set the slice count mode to close rows pages and the rows to 2. And we make it a bit bigger and give it a name. I will call it X scale. To copy it, I just select the node, press Ctrl C on the keyboard, go to a place where I want to paste, and I hit Ctrl V to paste. And now we got two IO boxes with the same value properties. So let's rename this one to I scale. Connect these IO boxes to the scale pins of the transform node. Connect this one to the scale X and the other to scale I. As you might notice, the quad is gone now, but that's just because it's scaled to zero, so it's very, very small. And actually, we got two quads here. Let's make the cross. I set the first slice of X scale to two, and the first slice of the I scale spread is going to be 0 0.02. Right click, drag. To make this cross, we're going to do the same for the second slice, but only reversed. So this is going to be 0 0.02, and this is going to be 2. And here we have our cross. The cross we just made will represent the Cartesian coordinate system. I could, of course, make two quads and two transforms and group them together. But then you miss the point about the power of spreads. If you look to the outlets of the renderer, you see X and I pins as outlets. X pin, I pin. These pins give the exact location of the mouse when your mouse is hovering above the renderer. There's also a node that does this, and this node is called Mouse System Window. This node only outputs values when you hover above the renderer. The other mouse node can be used if you don't have a renderer. Ok, let's connect two I.O. boxes on the X and I outlets of the mouse node. Let's call this one X location, or better X coordinate, and the other one I coordinate. And let's make the font size a bit bigger, so right click, drag up, 14, big enough, right click, drag up. And scale these I.O. boxes so you can see the value. Ok, the coordinate system. To describe the location or a position of a point in two dimensions, you need an X and an I location. These locations are relative to a center location, and we call a group of locations coordinates. So these together are coordinates. Coordinates can contain positive or negative values. The horizontal line is representing the x-axis and the vertical line is representing the y-axis. The center location is x equals 0 and i equals 0. So this is the point from which all other points are described. The x-coordinate describes how far a point is from the center when you move either to the left or to the right. And the i tells us how far it is from the center if we either move up or down. If I move to the left of the center, I get a negative value for the x-coordinate. And if I move to the right, I get a positive value. If I move down, I get a negative value for the i-coordinates. And if I move up, I get a positive value. So, to describe the coordinates of this point here, you can see the x-coordinate is 0 0.5 and the i-coordinate is 0 0.5047. And this point here is minus 36 till minus 4483. In VVV, the entire renderer goes from minus 1 
to plus 1 for the x-axis and from minus 1 to plus 1 for the y-axis. And it doesn't matter how we scale the renderer, we can make it very small, it still goes from minus 1 to plus 1. So the actual look of the renderer depends on the full screen size if you're working in full screen. Okay, let's see these coordinates in action. We make a quad and we're going to make it green. A quad is nothing more than a square object which we can shape with a transform like we did here. Make an IO box color. For the contrast with the white coordinate system. And we now need a group node to group the two quads together to the renderer. Because I can't connect two outlets to one inlet. I can do it, but it just replaces it. So we make the group node, and that is group EX9. Connect both quads to the group. Then connect the group to the renderer. Since the new quad is connected first and the cross is connected later, it is behind the cross. Oh, I also need a transform node. And we connect it to the quad. If I want to make this quad to fill the entire screen, I need to go from minus 1 to plus 1. Oh, that's a difference of 2. And that's why we can scale the x scale to 2. And I enter the same value in scale i. If I would type in a negative value, so scale i is minus 2, it still looks the same. But please remember if you're working with a texture, the texture might be mirrored now. So by just playing with the scale pin from the transform, I can get my quad in any size I want to. The center point of the scaling is the translate x and the translate i pin. Translating is moving relative to the center point. And if I make it 1 again, and hover above the left edge, it is minus 0.5, and the right edge is plus 0.5, so minus 0.5 till plus 0.5 is 1. And indeed, scale x is 1. If I change the translate x or y pins, I can move the quad around. Just for fun, let me show you how to make your own mouse cursor. It is just a quad that sticks to my mouse. So, we need another quad and another transform. Let's move this up. Connect the transform to the quad. The x-coordinate to translate x. And the y-coordinate to translate i. And since we're going to make a mouse pointer, I'm going to scale it down very, very small. As you can see, the group pin doesn't have any inlets that are free. But if I click on it and change layer template count in here in Spectre, I can create as many pins as I want. Just three for now. and connect the quad to the new pin. And here we have it, our own little mouse cursor in VVVV.